Okay, this is 3.3, .3, solving a system of linear equations using elimination with multiplication and addition. So this one is going to be a lot like the last one, part B. I had to multiply by something, okay? The problem is, is that it's not just going to be a negative this time. So what you want to do is you want to figure out, um, are these equations... Is one variable a multiple of another or can I make them the same okay so for instance this example if I wanted to eliminate the 3 I would have to make this coefficient they would have to match this one's already positive and that one's already negative so all I need is for the numbers to match what could I multiply by and who would I multiply it by to make them have the same coefficient I noticed that I could multiply the top equation by 3. And in doing that, it will cause this term to become a positive 9x. And here I will have a negative 24y. And here I will have a negative 69. So then now I can combine the two together using the addition method. So negative 9, 9, this would be negative 29y, and then negative 19 minus 69 is negative 88, and if I divide negative 29, oh, that is not going to be a nice number, and that is okay, sometimes that happens. Oh, I know what I did. 3 times negative 13 is not negative 69. 3 times 13 is negative 39. Is that right? Yes. So the negative 19 minus negative 39, or I'm sorry, negative 19 plus negative 39, or just minus 39, is negative 58. There we go. And then if I divide that by negative 29, I get 2. Sometimes you end up with fraction answers, but it's always good to double check to make sure that it is in fact going to be a fraction answer. And this one turns out it's not. So then I can plug 2 into either one of the original equations. I'm going to use the top one, what's inside the brackets. So I'm going to say 3x minus 8 times the 2 I found for y equal to negative 13 and then I'm going to add 16 to both sides and then divide by 3 on both sides I get x equal to 1 so then now what is the answer the x coordinate comma the y coordinate now over here this one is interesting because there's two things you could do if you wanted to eliminate the x's you could multiply the top one by a negative 3 to turn negative 3 times a negative 3 into positive 9, which would be the opposite of this. Or you could multiply the bottom equation by a negative 2 because a negative 2 times a positive 2 would make a negative 4, which would then be the opposite sign of that. So you have a choice on which one you, would, you could do. If ever given the choice, I like to manipulate the top one just so that I could rewrite it at the bottom. If I manipulate the bottom one, what ends up happening is I have to rewrite the top one and then put the new bottom one underneath. And that's, there's nothing wrong with that. If I can avoid it, I do though. And in this case, I can avoid it. If I just take the top one and multiply it by negative three. So that becomes positive 9x, that becomes negative 12y, and this becomes positive 30. And then if I combine these, those will cancel. I'll get negative 10y equal to 40. Divide by negative 10, I get y equals negative 4. Then I can plug that into the original equation inside that bracket. And then I get negative 3x minus 16 equal to negative 10. Negative 3x, or, I'm sorry. 
plus 16 and plus 16 gives me negative 3x equal to 6 and then divide by negative 3 I get x equals negative 2. So the x coordinate is negative 2, the y coordinate is negative 4.